Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental Oil Mobile Hygiene. So let's talk about oral cancer screenings, what they are and how I do them, and how you can also check yourself at home as well inside the mouth. Because a lot of people may want to, but they don't really know what to look for. And I don't know about you, but I don't typically look inside my mouth, under the tongue, every day. Even I don't, and I know that I should. So we, we do say to do a a quick oral cancer screening on, on yourself, you know, at least once a week. And, um, and what you're watching out for are lumps, bumps, anything that was not there before. So I'm going to share um, a PowerPoint with you guys. The picture's kind of blurry, but this was the best one that I could find. So I apologize about that. So when I clean pretty much anybody's teeth, you know, it doesn't matter how young or how old you are, I do check everywhere inside the mouth for, for anything that's not normal. And um, surprisingly though too, is you may have things inside your mouth that might look a little bit weird, but they're completely normal for some people. So I know what to watch out for. Um, it does help too because I have been a tutor for dental hygiene students and dental assisting students since I was 19. So I do teach oral pathology a lot. So I have seen a little of everything and I know how to teach oral pathology. So I know what to look for, but I'm just going to kind of help you guys out a little bit too. So you want to look. So if you guys can look at the picture here, you want to look under your lip. You want to, you know, check under the lip too to just see see if see if anything hurts. See it, see if anything's uncomfortable. You want to look inside your cheeks, under your tongue, um, on the sides of the tongue as well. You want to look on the roof of the mouth. You you want to look in the tonsillar area, and the best way to do that is to open and say, ah, <laughs> that's the best way to look in that sort of tonsil um, type of area. Um, and I did say that you want to look under the tongue and you want to look on the side of the tongue as well. So what are you looking for? You're looking for any type of like lump, um, bump, anything that's not supposed to be there. If it's red, white, black, brown, it's probably not normal. Um, it may not be cancer, but it's just something that you have to watch out for. Now, if you're eating a hot pizza or pretty much a hot anything, you could, I'd say, cut or burn the inside of your mouth where a lesion might appear that's, you know, red or more pink or more white than usual. So that's obviously not cancer, but if you see something like that, think, okay, did I eat something too hot or too crunchy? Oh yes, I did the other day, so then that's probably from that. You know, so you, you have to almost think about things like that too. Um, whereas if you're looking inside your mouth and see a red lesion of some kind and then say, oh, Oh, when did that happen? I didn't eat anything hot the past couple of days that I can think of, nothing crunchy. So, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to keep an eye on this. The rule of thumb is if you see a lump, a uh, lesion, anything, keep an eye on it. And if it doesn't go away in two weeks, let us know. So then that way we can have a look at it and then say, yes, that's normal or that doesn't look normal, you should have that looked at by a specialist. So that's kind of the rule of thumb. If it changes size or if it changes color, keep an eye on that too. And these days, you know, we take pictures of everything. So the nice thing is, is that we can easily take a picture inside of our mouths these days. I mean, if it's too far back, that might be a little bit harder. But if you're not sure, have somebody look at it. And I see these things all the time. You know, I, um, I saw a lump on a patient's tongue just last Thursday. And I said, you know what? I'm not concerned about it. It looks normal to me, but still keep an eye on it. If it changes, you know, shape, color, size, let me know. And wait a good two weeks. If it does not go away, come back in and let me have a look at it, you know? So you do have to be careful because 
if it is cancer, you want to have it looked at sooner rather than later because the nice thing is if you, um, if you catch oral cancer early enough, then you can usually catch it, treat it, and that's it. So whereas if you wait and wait and wait and just, you know, hope it's nothing, and then three years later, it's like, okay, now the lesion is like large, it's taking up half my tongue, maybe I should look at it. By then, that's obviously not a good sign. They might have to take away half the tongue. I hate to say it, but that's what happens. Um, sorry guys, let me just stop sharing my screen here because all of you saw that. So this is just something that you can do at home. And this is what I do on everybody. It takes 20 seconds, that's it. But for a lot of these areas, this isn't something that you would normally think to check in your, in your own mouth, right? So that was just kind of a recap on how to do a quick oral cancer screening at home. You know, it doesn't matter how young or how old you are, plus some types aren't painful. So even if you do have, say, a lump on the side of your tongue, just because it's not causing you pain, it doesn't mean it's not a bad thing. It doesn't mean that it is a bad thing, but you, you want to be careful, you know, keep an eye on it. So I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, please let me know anytime. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.